Hi, I'm Kathy Reichs, and I am one of many authors who has had their book tour canceled this spring. I just released the 19th Temperance Brennan novel, A Conspiracy of Bones. But since I'm not going to be able to go out on tour and meet all of you, I'm so disappointed, I thought I would invite you into my office to see where it is that I do the bulk of my writing. Not all of it, but a lot of it. So, here we go. These are some of, in the early days, if your book made number one on the New York Times or some special status, the publisher would have it framed and send it to you. So we ran out of space, but this is the ones that I still have up here from that. This is Roxana. Um, Roxana has an interesting story. I vacation every year with my family, my kids, my grandkids. We were one year in St. Martin and there was a statue there of this very whimsical giraffe, and I loved it. But the plaque on the bottom was totally rusted out, so I couldn't determine who the artist was. So I went online and I Googled giraffe sculpture, multicolored. I finally found it, found it was from Tom's Drags. And then I had to go online and Google, and I finally found a gallery in Spain where they had one. So I ordered it from Spain, and many months later, it showed up totally unharmed. So this is Roxana. I find her very whimsical. I don't approve of her smoking, but I love the bling that she wears. And when I'm feeling grumpy, I look over at Roxana and she makes me smile. These are some, this is kind of my, these two are kind of my to be read shelves and already read shelves. Um, on top here, we've got uh, a couple of awards that I won. Uh, these are British awards, a dagger award for best-selling, most popular best-selling for that particular year. Um, this is a little Lego thing that was used for an intro, a tight close-up shot intro of a TV show that I filmed. Um, this is one of my most treasured items. This is actually a sculpture done by my grandson Declan when he was about three. He's really very talented with ceramics, I think. Over here, we've got another Tom's Drags. I like things that are whimsical in my office because I'm writing some kind of dark things from time to time. So I like to be able to look up and see this is another Tom's Drags that my daughter found for me. This is a clock. It just makes me, I don't know, I think of it as kind of my Alice in Wonderland clock because it reminds me for some reason of Lewis Carroll. These are just a collection of books I have to triage periodically because I get just too many. They start out in here and then I move them to another to the library that I have in my home. Um, these are the ones that always stay though. These are my reference books, a small subset of my reference collections. A lot of them are on things like pathology and forensic science and crime scene analysis and of course forensic anthropology. There's a Quite a, quite a number of books on bones and what bones can do for you. Up top here, I started out way back with Deja Dead, which is the first one over there, which came out in 1997. That was my first book, and I thought it would be fun to have the book cover uh, framed, so I did. And I have subsequently had every one of my book covers framed. So we now have 19 of the Temperance Brennan novels up there. And the most recent one is on the end right here, A Conspiracy of Bones. This is another sculpture which I find very whimsical. This is called, this is Eve contemplating the apple. And uh, this is from a local artist here in Charlotte. I saw it and I just fell in love with it. And uh, then you buy it and you think, well, where am I going to put this? But I think she's perfect uh, in my office here. This is kind of fun. This is a bit of memorabilia from the show Bones. This was the, the back that went onto my director's chair. Uh, when I would be on set or on location, they would always bring out my chair, which would have uh, this on the back of it. And then when the, when the show finally wrapped, um, they gave it to me. These are my degrees. This is the more serious wall. This is uh, my master's degree and my doctoral degree and my certificate of certification by the American Board of Forensic Anthropology. And this is where I sit and where all the great thoughts come from. 
very nice to see you in cyberspace at least, and I hope to be able to see you on tour next year. Bye-bye.